I have great pleasure uh, in introducing Dr. Kanagavel, Dr. M. Kanagavel, who is the senior consultant in general gastrointestinal and minimal access surgery of St. Isabel Hospital, Chennai. He is not only a, an excellent surgeon, a great person, but also the sectional editor in the upper GI uh, aspect of Journal of Minimal Access Surgery. He is also the editorial board of uh, Indian Journal of Surgery. Plus, he helps us immensely with various teaching programs and in all the conferences. The treatment of cancer esophagus is highly a personalized issue. It's personal for various reasons because some people swear by uh, chest uh, open chest access, some by transital, some by minimal access, and some by robotics, so forth and so on. Uh, and we do know that it's not a single person's decision to do the surgery. It uh, belongs to the team. Uh, with this in mind, I would like to invite Dr. Kanagavel to speak about the role of transital hysphagectomy in the era of uh, 2021. Dr. Kanagavel. Good morning, sir. Uh, it's indeed a great uh, pride to be introduced by one of our long-term mentors and uh, was being focused on how to be in the um, academic uh, ground with a fine balance. Thank you, John, sir, for the kind words which have been and all the support you have been all through these years of your career. And I also thank the IATS for uh, giving me this important opportunity to speak to you about the importance of uh, approaches towards esophagectomy, more so in transcriptal, and how does it compare with the current modern minimal invasive approaches. Uh, thank you very much, uh, uh, Dr. Kanikwil. You not only really covered the trans side of uh, hiatal esophagectomy, but also covered uh, more of cancer esophagus. So that, that's excellent. You quite rightly touched upon the differences in various trials, various countries, regional differences. In Japan and in the West, they see more of adenocarcinomas. And we see more of squamous cell carcinomas. So their approach is with the, with the adenocarcinoma in mind. Our approach is on the squamous cell carcinoma in mind. The, our leak rates are somewhere about 5 to 9 percent, of which evident leaks are at least uh, 2 to 3 percent. I used to do routine feeding jejunostomy. Subsequently, I decided I won't do it because I put the rice shoe past into the when I feed it and I feed it into the jejunum, and so I found it really not of great use. There are three things I want to ask you one regarding the indication, one regarding a complication, and one regarding uh, should we be doing the surgery at all. 